When using the command line on Element, we have the ability to either talk to broad chunks of data or to speak to individual parameters. Let's look at some of the command line syntax that will allow us to decide which we want to do. Let's explore some examples of command line filtering by using sneak. So I'm going to restore these fixtures back to where they were before our previous home example. So let's say 115, copy to 111 through 114, and that's just going to restore all those channels back. And also for this example, I'm going to use my CIA uh, and my parameter tiles. So I just hit displays to return that back up. So if we say 111, sneak enter, just like our home example, you'll notice that the whole fixture is fading out back to its background state, which in this case, because we don't have a queue up, is just zero and all of the home values. If I want to be more specific about what I'm sneaking, I can use command line filtering. So I'm going to say 112, and I'm going to say focus, color, and beam, because I want to grab all three of my subcategories, sneak, enter. And so everything but this channel's intensity is going to sneak back to its background state. There's another way to do the same thing, which is less keystrokes, and that's to use subtractive logic on the command line. So really quickly, I'm going to say 113. And instead of saying all of the parameters that are there except for intensity, I can just say minus intensity. And that will give me everything except intensity in this channel. So now when I say sneak, it's going to have the same result as my channel 112, but it's a few less keystrokes. I can also use exceptions within individual categories. So for example, if I say 114 beam, that allows me to talk to just the parameters that are in the beam category. But if I want to leave out just my gobo, I can say minus gobo select two, which is where I have this gobo at, sneak, enter, and everything in the beam category is going to sneak with the exception of gobo select two.